to the festivals um, around the world. Cannes is a very vital one for the four of us because there's a lot of screens in Cannes where we make up our minds uh, because Cannes is quite close to Fright Fest in terms of it's May and Fright Fest is August, Well, some of the other festivals are further away so we can't really solidify deals. Cannes is a good place for us to see a lot of films if we want uh, for the festival. Um, and what we do is we basically, you know, Paul and Paul and Ian tend to work um, well together, and Al and I, so we, we, all, go, we all spit up, which we, you know, sometimes if the film's good, what will happen is one of us will go, that's great, you should go and see it. So inevitably we all see the films that we feel are top of the list. Further down the um, pecking order, we might sort of say, well, two of you have seen it, you don't like it, there's no point in the others seeing it. Otherwise we just would spend all our time and then sometimes you see a film for five minutes you know it's absolute dire and you, there's no way it would ever get into any festival, you know. So after a while you become quite attuned to what's good and what's, what's not. We get a lot of submissions and they get directed to Ian Rattray um, and a lot of them are shorts actually because obviously a lot of people start their film careers by making shorts so we get a lot of shorts that are submitted which is great because every year we try to have a shorts section in the festival uh, and yeah and then uh, Ian just farms them out to us um, we could spend whole weekends just sort of going through them and we, we, we get submissions for feature films as well um, I'm trying to think what year what came in this year that made it as an un you know because obviously with feature films a lot of them have picked up distribution maybe not in this country but they've got a company behind them so you know we get it we get it sent to us maybe by the producer or the director initially but then a company will come in and do the deal for them um, I think uh, Raw uh, Raw Utang directed Cold Prey that was a bit of a discovery. Uh, the Devil Dare Me Two was completely unsolicited, and we we, we basically uh, Ian discovered them in in Cannes and, and saw the film, and, and we just dealt with them directly. Um, but it's quite, to be honest, it's quite rare for a film to be a feature film, a full-length feature film, to be submitted unauthorized, because that that tends to be the process. If you if you've spent that much money making a feature film. You tend at that stage of distributing to film festival, there tends to be a producer, somebody on board, a sales agent who can actually do the, the kind of work for you.